Hi, question number seven, taken from October 2016, A-level maths HSC paper three. We need to find uh, the exact value of the x-coordinate of m. This is the diagram. The diagram shows part of the curve y is equal to 2x minus x squared in brackets times e to the power of half x and its maximum point m. We need to find the x-coordinate of m. So we're going to have to differentiate this whole expression. So we're going to do dy by dx by product rule. So u is equal to 2x minus x squared. v is equal to e to the half x. So du by dx is going to be 2 minus 2x. dv by dx is going to be half e to the half x. So we're going to have to multiply these two. So dy by dx is equal to 0 because this is a maximum point. So what is dy by dx? It's v du by dx. So e to the half x times 2 minus 2x plus um, u dv by dx half e to the half x times 2x minus x squared. So, and all of that's going to be equal to 0. The e to the half x, e to the half x is going to factorize itself. Then brackets we have 2 minus 2x, half times 2 is 1. So we have then 1, so plus x. And then we are going to say, um, so yeah, that's fine. Then half times uh, x squared is minus half x squared. All of that's going to be equal to 0. So we have 2x minus x is minus x, 2 minus x squared over 2, so 2 times 2 is 4, so minus x squared over 2 is equal to 0. So we have then 4 minus 2x minus x squared is equal to 0, x squared plus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. We can solve this by using, using the uh, formula. x is going to be minus 2 plus or minus root of b squared, which is 2 to the square minus 4 times a, times c minus 4 divided by 2 times 1 x is going to be minus plus or, half, plus or minus root of 20 divided by 2 which is basically minus 2 plus or minus root of uh, 20 is 4 times 5 divided by 2 so we have then minus 2 plus or minus root of 4 is 2 2 root 5 all over 2 we're going to take the positive value of x, so minus 1, minus 2 divided by 2 is minus 1, plus root of 5. So here's the exact coordinate of, x coordinate of the point M. Now, we need to find the area, okay, under the shape, I mean, under the curve. Now, for the second part, we need to find the exact value of the area of the shaded region bounded by the curve and the positive x-axis. For this part, we're going to be using integration by parts. So we have then u is equal to 2x minus x squared and dv is equal to e to the half x. So if we integrate this back, we're going to get v is equal to 2e to the half x. du is going to be 2 minus 2x. So we do this, uv, all right? So that's going to be equal to uv, 2e to the half x, times 2x minus x squared, minus the integral of v du. So 2e to the half x, and then 2 minus 2x dx. Copying that very quickly, minus 2. So we're going to integrate this back. This is under the integration by part. And if you were to integrate this, you're going to say u is equal to 2 minus 2x and dv is equal to e to the half x. So in, differentiate this one, you're going to get u is equal to 0 minus 2. So minus 2. Integrate this back, you're going to get 2e to the half x. Right, so uv minus v du. And what is uv? So all of that in brackets, okay, uv is 2 minus 2x times this whole expression here, 2 to the half x into 2 minus 2x, minus the integral of v du, so minus 2, 
times e to the half x dx. So 2e to the half x, 2x minus x square minus now um, minus 2 times e is minus minus 2 times 2 is minus 4e to the half x into 2 minus 2x minus times minus is plus times minus again is minus so got then minus and what is that so minus 2 times 2 is minus 4 okay so we got then minus 4 isn't it so 2 times this is 4 2 times minus 2 is okay that's very good minus 4 integral of e to the half x dx 2x minus x squared minus 4e to the half x 2 minus 2x times minus 4 if you integrate this you're going to get 2e to the half x so this is going to become then um, 2 times this whole expression here 2 times this 4, 2 times this it's very good so pretty good here 2 e to the half x into 2x minus x squared minus 4 e to the half x into 2 minus 2x this is going to be minus 8, isn't it? 2 times 4 is 8. Minus 2 times 2, no, sorry, minus 2 times 2 is minus 4. So then 2 times this is 8. So this is going to be 8. No, 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 this is not minus 8. There's something else here. Um, 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. Minus 4. So then that's going to become 8. So 8 here times 2 is minus 16. Minus 16 e to the half x. So now, what can we do? 2 e to the half x is common inside is 2x minus x squared minus 2 okay times 2 minus 2x minus 8 all right so 2e to the half x okay 2x minus x squared minus 4 plus 4x minus 8 all right uh, 2x 2x plus 4x is 6x I got 6x minus x squared minus 8 minus minus 8 minus 4 minus 12. We can apply the limits now, which is 2 and 0 and 2. Put 2 here, you're going to end up with 2e because half times 2 is 1, e to the power 1 is e. 6 times 2 is 12 minus 2 times 2 is 4 minus 12 minus then to e to the power of 0 because 0 comes here half times 0 is 0 e to the power of 0 is e 0 e to the 0 times 0 0 minus 12 good so we got 2e plus 12 minus 12 cancels out times minus 4 minus times minus becomes plus 2 times 4 12 is 24 e to the power of 0 is equal to 1 so from here we got then 24 minus 8e so this is the area under the uh, curve for the second part of this question